Hello, this is Laura from the Huntsman Cancer Institute Wellness Center Artist in Residence Program. And this is our last project for the month of April and the theme has been round. And what we're gonna be creating this week is pastel mandala. And here's one that I finished. What you're gonna need is some paper. You're gonna need some chalk pastels. Then you're also gonna need a ruler, a pencil, a marker. So you want some kind of marker that's gonna give you a nice outline to something on a little bit on the darker side. And then you'll also need some scissors if you wanna cut your mandala out. So let me show you how I went about doing this. First, I traced a circle. I used a paint can. So just tracing with pencil around the bottom of the can to get my circle. And then I went ahead and measured the diameter of the circle in both directions and found the center point. So you can see right here those pencil lines and I found my center point. And then go ahead and take your marker and draw shapes that repeat around the circle. So you can see right here, I've got this sort of triangle shape. I've got these flower forms. So in each quadrant of the circle, you have a repeated design. And I think it's best to just go ahead and do this freehand. Um, it's gonna look beautiful. And I kind of like when things aren't perfect because you can see the human touch. So then once you get your design drawn in, start working with your pastels to fill everything in. And you can even erase these pencil lines if you want, or you can just work right on top of it. So you'll see with the pastel, I've got a nice dark layer here you can blend. Maybe you come up with a color scheme. I've got some earth tones going on here. So you can blend going away from where your pastel mark is. So I can fill this in. So that gives you a good idea of what we are working on. And then go ahead and cut out your mandala. So I will let you know that uh, starting in the month of May, we're gonna be holding classes at Red Butte Gardens outside. Um, you still have to wear a mask, but we're gonna be right next to the orangery. And the theme for May is outdoors. And we're gonna be drawing the plant life we see in the garden. And each week we're gonna feature a different medium. So we're actually going to be doing oil or these pastels one week we're gonna be doing uh, watercolor pencils, ink, uh, acrylic paint to do plein air painting, and then there will be a collage project too. Um, so meeting there from 10 to four, starting in May, going all the way through the first Tuesday in June. I hope everybody's doing well and enjoying this gorgeous weather in this beautiful Utah spring. And I will be talking to you next week, bye.